Six. Squish. Uh uh. Cicero. Lip shits. Pop. Six. Squish. Uh uh. Cicero. Lip shits. Pop. Six. Squish. Uh uh. Cicero. Lip shits. Cicero, shits. Ha, squish. Ah, Cicero, You know how people have these little habits that get you down? Like Bernie. Bernie liked to chew gum. No, not chew. Pop. So I came home this one day and I'm really irritated and I'm looking for a little bit of sympathy. And there's Bernie lying on the couch, drinking a beer and chewing. No, not chewing. Pop it. So I said to him, I said, you pop that gum one more time. And he did. So I took the shotgun off the wall and I fired two warning shots into his head. He had it coming. He had it coming. He only had himself to blame. If you'd have been there. I met Ezekiel Young from Salt Lake City about two years ago, and he told me he was single, and we hit it off right away. So we started living together. He'd go to work, he'd come home, I'd fix him a drink, we'd have dinner. And then I found out. Single, he told me. Single my ass. Not only was he married, oh no, he had six wives. One of those Mormons, you know? So that night when he came home from work, I fixed him his drink, as usual. You know, some guys just can't hold their arsenic. Standing in the kitchen, carving up the chicken for dinner, minding my own business, in storms my husband Wilbur in a jealous rage. You been screwing the milkman, he says. He was crazy, and he kept on screaming, you been screwing the milkman. And then he ran into my knife. He ran into my knife ten times. If you'd have been there. Yeah, but My sister Veronica and I had this double act, and my husband Charlie traveled around with us. Now for the last number in our act, we did these 20 acrobatic tricks in a row. One, two, three, four, five, split, spread eagles, backflips, flip-flops, one right after the other. So this one night before the show, we're down at the Hotel Cicero. The three of us boozing, having a few laughs. And we run out of ice, so I go out to get some. I come back. Open the door, and there's Veronica and Charlie doing number 17, the spread eagle. Well, I was in such a state of shock, I completely blacked out, I can't remember a thing. It wasn't until later, when I was washing the blood off my hands, I even knew they were dead. They had it coming! They had it coming!
Dal Lipschitz more than I could possibly say. He was a real artistic guy, sensitive, a painter. But he was always trying to find himself. He'd go out every night looking for himself, and on the way, he found Ruth, Gladys, Rosemary, and Irving. I guess you could say we broke up because of artistic differences. He saw himself as alive, and I saw him dead. The dirty bum, bum. Number 17, artistic differences.